Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hola. Hola, buenas noches. Hey, good evening. How are you? Eh, teacher, este, quizás poco le voy a escuchar porque voy en el autobús. Ah, ok. Tengo la señal. Ok, Catherine, thank you. Ok, then welcome. Catherine Rebecca, we have Hola, Angelica. Hello, good evening. We have Luz Garcia, Miguel Antonio. Hello, good evening. We have Jensi, Jensi Alexandra, we have Joaquin. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? How are you tonight? With this weather, right? The weather is a little hot today. It's a little hot tonight. But ready, right? Ready to continue. Very, very ready to continue. All right, remember yesterday we started with clothes vocabulary. We saw about general clothes vocabulary, about um, for work, that they are formal clothing. Buenas formal... noches, teacher. Hey, good evening, welcome. Eh, solo le saluda Jessica Esmeralda Hernández Escobar. Decirle okay. que solo estaré como oyente, por ya okay. lo antes mencionado. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have clothes for leisure. Remember, this one is like to relax, like to go to the park, to go to the beach, to go different places. But for work, there are different types of clothes. Now, uh, we have a video here that we are going to watch on the platform, let's do it here. For the video here. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait. Hi, everyone. In this. Okay, can you hear it? Se escucha. Hello? Yes. Yes, can you hear it? Okay, let me check it. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left hand side are for work and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Shirt. Tie. Belt, jacket, pants, suit, coat, shoes, blouse, scarf, skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat. Sweater, jeans, 
Gloves. Boots. Cap. T-shirt. Shorts. Socks. Sneakers. Pajamas. Swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Now that we watched the video, we are going to have the exercise. As Buenas the noches. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Brené. How are you? Gracias. Thank you. Okay, good. Welcome to the class. Now we are here to make some examples to practice it. It says I... here like the type, the type of clothes that you wear. For example, you say I wear. Yo uso, right? For this clothes I or. Wear. I wear a tie for work. Yo uso una corbata para trabajar. <clears throat> then you can say, I wear shorts at home. So let's see here more, some more examples. We're going to write more here. Okay, for example, if you want to add, like here, I wear a suit to work or for work, for work. And we're going to write more examples. Like here. Let's make it bigger. Okay, so it says here, I wear a suit for work. Remember that suit is very formal, right? Very formal for work. Now, I can say also that I wear tennis for leisure. I wear shorts at home. Okay, so we have these ones. Now we're going to repeat them. Let's see. Oscar Mesa, let's repeat this one. Says, okay, okay. I wear a suit for work. I wear a suit for work. A suit, a suit for work. A suit for work. Very good. Rene, I wear tennis for leisure. I wear tennis for leisure. Very good. Now, it's like leisure. Leisure, that means eh, para relajarse, para pasar el tiempo. Mm, That's leisure. Para relajarse. Ah, la, ajá, like when you go to the park, como cuando uno va al parque o a pasear. Ah, right? okay. That's for leisure. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Let's see. Oh, Luke Garcia. Sure. Repeat the next one. I wear shorts at home. I wear shorts at home. Very good. Okay. Now you give me your original examples. Yes, your original examples. Sandra Marisol. Give me another example, please. I wear. I wear. Yes. T-shirt. I wear a t-shirt. Very good. Yes. A t-shirt. Yes. At home. At home. Okay. That's very good. 
I wear a t-shirt at home. That's good. Kevin, give us another example, please. Sorry, I wear. Se escucha como cortado. Mala señal. Ajá, sí, la señal está fallando. Ok, let's see, Juan. Juan Antonio, help us, please. Give us another example. Juan Antonio. Uh, I, I wear at what boots? And I wear, I'm sorry. I wear uh -huh. a boot. Boots. I I boots. 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 At the rain. I wear boots in the rain. Uh-huh. Ah, very in good. In the rain. In the, in the rain. rain. Excellent. Yeah, that's very good. I wear boots in the rain. That's correct. Brenda, Brenda Quintanilla. Give us another example, please. I wear for jeans for work. For work, okay, yes, there are some companies that they permit to wear jeans, that's good. I wear jeans <coughs> for work. For work. Very good, nice. Now let's continue with Jessica Rivas. I wear pajamas for at home, perdón. At home, very good, yes. At home. Yes, at home, excellent. No for work, right? Eso le iba a decir, for work. Que sería genial, right? It would be great. Sí, sería genial, pero no That's se puede. Super cool, yeah, it's not permitted, yes. Let's see, Joaquín. Give us another example, please. And you wear shorts um, black. I wear, I'm sorry. I wear. Shoes. 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 Uh -huh. Shoes. Shoes. Uh -huh. Shoes. Hey, um, what is the compliment? <coughs> Maybe you can put like a, the, a specific type of shoes. For example, if it's um, for work, or at home, or for leisure. What type of shoes? Maybe tennis shoes, maybe formal shoes. What kind of shoes? What type of shoes? Hello? Hello? Let's suppose that they are tennis shoes. Tennis shoes, that can be for leisure, right? like to spend time or to relax in your free time also it can be that's for leisure. Were tennis shoes for leisure? Maybe wait here because yes, it's loading. <laughs> Let's continue then with Carlos Arturo. Give us another example, please. I wear a sneaker for running. Very good. That is good. I wear sneakers for running. Excellent. That's right. So you do exercise with those sneakers. Very good. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Angelica, give us another example, please. Um, I wear a cap. I wear a cap. Okay. Uh, to work. For work. Uh -huh. Oh, that's good. For work. That's nice. Thank you. Jessica Franco. <coughs> Kathleen Rebecca. <coughs> Kathleen Rebecca, are you present? Can you listen? No? Joaquin? Mm -hmm. 
Joaquin, are you present? No? Jensi, give us an example, please. I wear mm -hmm. um, dress. A dress? Okay. I wear a dress. I wear a dress um, to go to a study. To go? To a study. Ah, to study. Ah, okay. Yeah. Then for school. Yes? Sí. For school. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wear a dress for school. Okay. okay. Or to go to school. Or you can also say oh, like that. University. Ah, very good. Yes, you can say, I wear a dress to go to the university. To go to um, the university. Yeah, that's good. Uh -huh. to, go to go to the university. The university. Yeah, to go to the university. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. Very good. So, I wear a dress to go to the university. Very good job. I wear that's a nice. dress to go to the university. 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 Nice. Okay. University. Now, university. That's correct. Okay. Nice. Now, let's see. We are going to repeat them. Rene Cruz, repeat the first one, please. I wear. I wear. A suit for I work. Sweet. A suit. A suit, a suit for mm -hmm. work. For work, very good. Yes, Oscar Mesa. I, I wear, wear tennis. IT to work. I wear tennis. I wear yeah. tennis for leisure. For leisure, excellent. That's good. Gen C. Gen C. The next one, please. I wear. Sorry. Yes. Repeat the number three, please. I wear. Uh -huh. I wear. Short and home. At home. Very good. Thank you. Short Angelica. Short. Repeat the next one, please. I wear a t-shirt at home. I wear a t-shirt at, at home. A t-shirt? A t-shirt? A t-shirt at home. At home. Very good. Luz Garcia. I wear a at home. The next one. I wear boots in the rain. I wear, I wear boots in the rain. In the rain. I wear boots in the rain. I wear boots in the rain. That's correct. Good one. Brenda, the next one, please. I wear jeans for work. I wear jeans for work. That's correct. Yes. Catherine, Rebecca, I wear pajamas at home. I wear pajamas at home. Pajamas. Hola, ¿ya me escuchan? <laughs> I wear pajamas at home. At home, very good job, nice. Kevin, the next one. I wear tennis shoes for leisure. I wear tennis shoes for leisure. Very good job, nice. Juan Antonio, the next one. I wear sneakers for running. I wear sneakers for running. For running, very good. Veronica, I wear a cap for work. I wear a cap for work. That's all right. Now we have Jessica Vanessa. I wear a dress to go to the university. I wear a dress to go to the university. I wear a dress to go to the university. I wear a dress to go to go, to go? for the to go to okay. the university. 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 That's all right, good one. Okay, we have these ones. Now, do you have questions with this? When we talk about vocabulary of clothes, now we can write sentences, right? We can create sentences or what we wear. No questions about this? Hello, no questions? Solo eh, una pregunta. Ajá. Eh, yo este, quiero saber si es la misma pronunciación o hay algún tono de diferencia eh, para cuando se refiere a ropa o cuando también está, hay otra palabra que lleva primero este, un H y bueno, no, creo que lleva una, una, este, una A. 
o una I, creo. Casi, casi es, no, no, no se le escucha es, muy bien, se le escucha cortado. Vaya, este, eh, yo quiero una pregunta, si ¿sí me escucha. Eh, si ¿sí me escucha. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Bueno, yo quiero saber este, la diferencia en la pronunciación de la palabra wear cuando se refiere a ropa y la palabra eh, wear cuando se refiere a dónde. Ajá, this one, right? Wear and wear. Ajá, cabal, cabal. Ajá. Yes, these ones are very similar. What happened is that this one uh -huh. is a verb. Ese es un verbo. Wear. But they are very, very similar. Hay muchas palabras que sí son bastante similar, incluso en la pronunciación. Ahí identificamos, depende de la estructura que lleve. Por ejemplo, acá, I wear a dress. But you say wear. Uh -huh. Wear a dress. Va después de un uh -huh. sujeto, que es el verbo usar o, o vestir una, una prenda. En wear uh -huh. is a WH word. This is to formulate a question. Uh -huh. Para formular una pregunta. Right? Like, for example, mm -hmm. where is your sister? Where is your sister? ¿Dónde está tu hermana? Ajá, correcto. So, sí. La estructura es también la que nos va a ayudar a identificar a qué nos referimos. So, this one is for a question. Where is your sister? Sí. Yeah. I wear pajamas. Uh -huh. I wear pajamas. Where mm -hmm. are you? Mm -hmm. Where are you right now? I am uh -huh. in my house right now. And in this one, okay. where I wear tennis for leisure. I wear a raincoat in the rain. I wear a belt for work. I wear a hat in the rain. I wear shorts. Because it is cold or it is hot, right? So it's like a, they are different functions, the one that they have. But the pronunciation is very similar. La estructura es la que nos dice. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Y la palabra otra que también este, se significa ropa, solo creo que se dice cloth. Mm -hmm. Clothes. Eh, esa también significa ropa, o no sé a qué. Uh, a cloth, a la, a clothes. Uh -huh. Cloth, yeah. What happened is that there is another one that you say uh, clothing. Espera que cargue esto porque está bien. Ven. Yes. You have clothes and also there is clothing. Yes? ¿A eso te refieres? This one is clothes. Sí, sí. Clothes. Uh, clothes. Yo uh -huh. said clothes. Es contable porque son uh -huh. prendas, prendas de vestir en general. Y clothing uh -huh. solo es, es en general, pero vestimenta. Uh -huh. Clothing, o sea, vestimenta. Uh -huh. Y esta de acá, clothes, son prendas de vestir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, uh -huh. sí, sí es contable. Porque, ah, ok, clothes. Where are your clothes? Uh -huh. ¿Dónde están tus prendas de vestir? Ah, ok, my clothes are in the closet. Now, if you say, I am Closet. going to buy clothing, voy a comprar ropa, o sea, en general. Es mm -hmm. en general, como cuando uno dice que va a ir a comprar al centro comercial, I think, necesito mm -hmm. ropa, I need clothing, uh -huh. en general. Está hablando que es, que es ropa, realmente ropa, en cambio, cuando dice, voy a hablar de que vestir ya, portar una, realmente, Fíjense que todavía Ajá. se le escucha cortado. Eh, sí, 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 vaya. Eh, escucha. Vamos a ver. Sí, ¿Ahora? Escúchame. Sí, se escucha, escucha. cortado. Ahora, ahorita sí. Sí, me escucha. Claro. Vaya. Ok, este... O sea que la palabra wear es directamente cuando eh, alguien está usando específicamente eh, alguna especie o un diseño de... De, 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 de tenis o cualquier, ah, o cualquier accesorio y, y tiene que exacto. ir siempre de, el nombre de, de, del estilo de, de prenda que esté usando. En uh -huh. cambio, cuando dice cloth, no necesita poner directamente el nombre de la prenda, sino que solo generalmente, solo uh -huh. vestir, ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. Sí, que acá, well, como usted mencionaba, solo se refiere al verbo de usar, usar una prenda de vestir o un accesorio. Uh -huh. 
Y clothes ya son uh -huh. la, eh, clothes son las prendas de vestir y clothing es en general vestimenta que incluye zapatos, incluye todo, todo en esa, esa uh -huh. prenda. Ah, ¿verdad? ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De, de ah, ok. Uh -huh. Any other question? Uh -huh. Ok, so we have this about clothing, guys, or clothes, right? Different accessories that is possible to wear. Now, if you start in the clothing, we have different colors, as we mentioned yesterday, right? You have different colors of clothing. All depends on the style, the color that we like. So for that, we can also put emphasis on the different colors. So we are going to learn about the colors. Let's check here some of examples that we have. We have red, blue, pink, yellow, brown, orange, green, white, black, purple, gray. We have another color here, which is lilac. Right. We're going to include here the name. This one is color lilac. Oh, lila, como le decimos nosotros. Ajá, uh -huh. in Spanish we say lila, right? <laughs> yeah, And we lila. pronounce it lila. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's lila. Then we have lila. the other color, which is light green. Well, this one is a variation, light right? Orange. It's a variation of green. Como sabemos oh, que green. los colores, hay una enorme paleta de colores ahora. Los colores claros, colores oscuros y los colores puros, los originales. Como decir verde, a... verde claro. Exactly, exactly. Mm, light, so the green, original light. color, for example, here is green. It's the color original. Pero si queremos variar el, el claro de ese color, entonces le agregamos light. So decimos light, green, maroon, that is very similar than brown, right? So it's like, like dark brown we can have. Navy, that is like a variation of blue. We have also bronze, color bronze, it is similar than golden, right? Chocolate color, salmon, golden, it's color dorado. What color is this? Orange. Orange, Orange. that is correct. It's like this one, nice one, okay. Then we have- Light, light, light orange, no. Uh, no, it's, it's orange because there are others that they are like lighter. I think it's like more claritos, no? De hecho, esto se ve un poquito más más oscuro. But it's orange, it's orange. Then we have dark blue. Is it dark? Eh, hace que yo quiera expresar que el color es oscuro, ya que el azul puro es la cara. We have blue, but you can say dark blue. Navy, well, is the same as this. Turquoise, turquesa, right? It's a variation also. You also have aqua. And this color, what color is this? Aluminium. It can be aluminium. Silver. Silver, silver. Uh -huh, correct, yes. Oh, yeah, it's right. recognized as silver, like, you can say like, like plateado, right? Silver color. Okay. Silver metal. Uh -huh, like metal, right? It's like the colors of the metal. Now, tell me, what is your favorite color? Or what's your favorite color? Do you have a favorite color? Rene, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Is blue. Okay. And then you say, my favorite color is blue. Okay. René, you formulate the questions to Brenda. Formulate the question. What is your favorite color? What's your favorite color? My favorite color favorite is yellow. Color? Okay, repeat it. My favorite color? My favorite color is yellow. Very good. That's nice. Cool. Very Oscar, good. you formulate the question to Juan Antonio. 
Okay. What is your favorite color? What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is gray. It's gray. Very good. My favorite. Favorite color. Yes. Oh, my favorite. Very good. Nice. Luz Garcia. You formulate the questions to Gen Z. What's your favorite color? Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite color is pink and black. Okay, very good. In your case, you have two favorite colors. So you can ask, what are your favorite colors? In the case of plural, right? So you answer my favorite colors. Are what are the colors, please? Can you repeat? Uh, pink. Uh huh. Are pink. Uh, pink. Yeah. And, and black. black. Okay, and black. Very good. Pink and black. And black. Pink and black. Ah, okay. That's a good combination. Nice. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, Veronica, formulate the questions to Jessica Rivas. What's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite colors are purple and lilac. And Lila, okay, those are good colors too. Very good, nice. Now let's see, Miguel Antonio, you formulate the question to Angelica. What's your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is pink. It's pink, excellent, that's correct, good. Jessica Franco, formulate the question to Sandra Marisol. What's your favorite color? Mm -hmm. My favorite color is it's what's your favorite color, Sandra? Sandra Marisol? It's blue. It's blue. Okay, thank you. Carlos Arturo, you formulate the question to Joaquin. What's your favorite color? Excellent. My favorite color is light green. Light green? Light green, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, now, Joaquin, you formulate the question to Jansi. Uh, what is your favorite color? My favorite color favorite is yellow. Color? Uh -huh. Let's repeat it. My favorite color my favorite color. Favorite. Favorite. Fa favorite. Favorite. Very good. Uh -huh. Color. Color. Yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. It's yellow. That's correct. Good one. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to have some minutes to pass the list, guys. So tell me if you are present. Okay, let's see. Alicia Maribel. Alicia Maribel. No. Angelica Maria. Hello. Thank you. Brenda Marcela. Present. Thank you. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Jessica Saray. Present. Thank you. Joaquin Jesus. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Present. Thank you very much. Catherine Rebecca. Catherine. Catherine Rebecca. Kevin Orlando. Kevin Orlando, Loida Citali, Loida Citali, Luis Antonio, 
Luis Antonio. Luz Margel. Present. Thank you. María Inés. María Inés. Marvin Manuel. Marvin. Miguel Antonio. Present. Thank you. Oscar Esaú. Present. Thank you. Reina Isabel. Reina Isabel. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you. Sandra Marisol. Present. Thank you. Verónica Maricela. Present. Thank you. Jancy Yamilet. Jancy Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Jancy Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Yes, I remember you are present. Jessica. Jessica Vanessa. Jessica. Yes, Jessica Vanessa. Present. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, let's continue then. All right, we were here with the colors. Any question? Okay, let's go ahead then with the video. We have a video on the platform. We're going to watch it. In the one we have uh, colors and conversation. Let's listen to it. Class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice the conversation which illustrates how this. Can you hear it? Se oye. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. I hear. Perfect. Thank you. Pop yes, I can hear. In a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, Green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Thank you. 
All right, now that we watch the video, let's practice it. We have here different clothes, women's clothes, and they have different colors. Now, for example, in the picture number one, tell me what color is her jacket? What color is it? Orange. Very good, it's orange. We're going to write it here. So you can say, yes. It's orange. What about what color is her coat? And that is the picture number two. What color is her coat? Light, light red? Yes. Light red? Light red can be, right? It looks like red. It looks a little bit orange, right? It has like a variation there. Let's suppose that it's red, right? Or light red. It's light red. So let's enter it. Light red. What about number three? On the picture number three. On the picture number three, it says, what color is her skirt? What color? It's brown. It's brown. Very good job. Nice. It's brown. Nice, Elaine. That's good. Jessica Rivas, let's see in the picture number four. What color is her dress? It's dark yellow. Dark yellow? Yeah, it can be, yes. It's dark yellow. Dark yellow. Very good job, nice. Let's see the next one. What color is her cap? That's on picture number five. Miguel Antonio? Miguel, are you present? Veronica? It's orange. It's orange? The cat, the cat. What color is her cat? Uh, it's gray. Ah, it's gray, yeah, that's correct. It's gray. It's gray. Excellent. That's good, okay. We have this form. Now let's continue describing as colors of the clothes. Rene, we have on picture number one, all of these are men's clothes. What color is his t-shirt? His t-shirt is color white. Uh -huh, that's good. It's white it's excellent white. that's good it's white that's good thank you kevin picture number two what color are his shoes now it's plural for that reason is that you use what color are his shoes are brown very good are brown. that's all right <laughs> just that we need to use this subject because it's blue then they're brown. And now it's plural, right? Like song cafe. They're brown. As is tenía, the mm -hmm. eh, tenía una, una duda con lo que era lo yes. plural y lo y lo, y lo singular. Ajá. Ajá. Yes, y right. hasta ahora lo estoy descubriendo ahí eh, <ríe> que, que es lo plural porque estaba haciendo el examen y toda la cuestión. Ajá. Y hasta ahora decía en plural o contesta en singular. Y ah, no, uh -huh. no, no entendía. Ajá, hasta ahora uh -huh. entiendo. Yes. Eh, Ajá, supuestamente lo, lo, lo plural lleva el R así siempre. Ajá, o with lleva the el be. Uh -huh. With the verb to be. Ajá. Cuando se conjuga el verb to be, Ajá. no se necesita Bye. utilizar R. Pero no siempre. Ah. 
no solo para plural, porque por ejemplo para el sujeto you y solo se refiere a una persona, también lleva are. You are. Y, y el your no es plural. Your, ah, pero ah. Eh, se refiere a este. ¿Ahí ves? Sí, ajá, you are. Your, un contractado con verb to be es igual a you are. Lo que pasa es que recuerden que les mencionaba eh, la diferencia entre los sujetos. You puede ser si usted se dirige a una sola persona, pero también puede dirigirse a más de una persona. Todo depende de cómo se note la situación. Sí, es que estaba viendo una pregunta que dice no, no, y al final decía not. Entonces ahí teníamos que ponerle en medio un, un plural y nunca lo encontraba hasta que al fin lo encontré, pero me costó. Ah, ya, yeah, eso es de plural. Ajá. Todo depende de sí. cómo vaya la conversación, porque a veces en la conversación hablamos de tú, tú eres, sí, sí, sí. o tú estás. Pero si en la conversación se da como ustedes están, pero es la misma conjugación. La forma sí. del, del verb to be es, siempre es igual. Bye, está bien, gracias. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, let's continue then. So we say that it's plural, right? In this case, what color are his shoes? What color are his shoes? And you respond, they're brown. So, cafe. Now, number three, what color are his glasses? And this is for picture number three. Brenda? What would be the answer, Brenda? Is color black. Aha, very good. Is color black? Yes. Yes, just yes. That, just that they yes. are plural, right? It's plural because they are glasses. Did so, it? Aha, uh -huh. yes, repeat please. Did it is they, black. They are black. Mm -hmm. They are black. Tenemos como el mismo caso de acá, de los zapatos, que es plural. Y acá, pues, como los lentes sabemos que lleva como dos vidrios, ¿verdad? Por este es Ajá, plural. correcto. Excellent. So, they are black. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see number four. What color is his watch? This is for picture number four. Joaquín. What would be the answer? What color is his watch? Is black. Look, it's picture number four. Picture four. But it's not uh, it's not black. Look. Brilla. Uh -huh. Remember, there are some colors of metals. Color metal. Silver. Aha, uh -huh, yes, yeah, because it's very similar than silver. Yeah, that's correct. It's like this one, look. It's like this color. So what color is it? It's silver, right? Tengo, tengo, tengo una duda. Yes, tell me. ¿Podría pasar a la diapositiva anterior? Yes. Give me a moment. This one? La de los colores. Ajá. ¿Cómo colors. se pronuncia el, el que está por el marrón? Que es como this azul one? oscuro. Oh, this one. Maybe. Otro, ajá, ajá. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, okay. very similar sí, ve, than the blue. Y veo que solo... se repite con el de abajo, no sé ah, si yes. serán el mismo. No, 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 it's the sí. same, it's the same. Solo que acá, en la, eh, acá en, la, en la imagen es que está repetido, pero es el mismo. It's maybe. Ah, y el que está a la parte maybe. del golden que no tiene nombre? Golden is orange. Ah, ok, ok. It's, it's the same, Gracias. es el mismo. Uh -huh. ¿sí? Solo son diferentes como tonos, pero siempre es la, la misma variación. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Gracias. You're very welcome. Y lo que está allá cerca del Ajá. color aqua vendría siendo como lo, lo que brilla. This one, this one. ¿Este de acá? Sí. Yeah. This is sí. silver. 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 Ajá. Es un color plateado. Silver. Yes. Entonces, lo otro lo que me ha preguntado sería silver. Ajá, es the watch por el reloj. Yes, the watch is color silver because let's see the picture again. That's the watch. Look, se ve como plateado. Right? Ajá, so silver. It's silver. Mm -hmm, that's correct. So it's silver. 
Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's check the other one. What color are his shorts? That is picture number five. Veronica. What color they are his shorts? Right. They are, aha, it's plural, correct. They are? Son como cafés, como sería brown. Aha, uh -huh, yes. Look at here. Remember, we're going to check the picture. Look. They are brown. Brown, ajá, correct. Yes, they are brown. Son un poco más claros, pero siempre es de la misma variación de, del café, ¿no? They are brown. They are brown. So we have classification there, right? And to describe the color of the clothing. Now, we watch the video and we listen. Now, we're going to practice the conversation. Now, let's have here, it says, describe the clothes in the exercise one. Well, we did that, right? We described. Now, let's see in the conversation. It says, it's a disaster. We're going to repeat each. And we are going to start, let's see, with Jancy. Jancy, you're going to start here. Great, our clothes are dry. Repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Como? Let's repeat it. Great. Our Great. Clothes. Great. Our, 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 our clothes. Our clothes. Our clothes. Are dry. Are dry. Are dry. Where is my new blouse? Where is my new blouse? Carlos Arturo, where repeat. Where is my work blouse? My new blouse. Aha, that's good. Okay. Carlos, let's repeat. What color is it? What color is it? That's good. What color is it? What color is it? Thank you. Santa Marisol, it's white. It's white. It's white. It's white. Very good. Jessica Franco, continue. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Hello. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Good one. Here's a light blue blouse. That's good. Luz Garcia, continue. Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? Very good. Angelica, no, it's not. It's not mine. Mm, no, it's not, not mine. Not, it's not mine. Mine, mine. Mine. That's mine. Good. Wait. Wait. That's good. Wait. Thank you. Miguel, continue. It is mine. It is mine. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue with Joaquin. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, all, no. Our, all our clothes are light blue. 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 Very good. Oh, Carlos oh, Arturo. Oh, right. Light blue. Carlos Arturo. Let's continue. Here's oh, the problem. Oh, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the, pro the problem. That's good. Is this new blue jeans? No. Oh, Is this new blue jeans? Is this new blue jeans? It's it's our new blue jeans. That's good. Thank you. Continue, Jessica Franco. Whose jeans are this? Are they? Sorry. Whose jeans are they? Oh, jeans are they? Whose jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh no! All our thoughts are like you. Whose jeans are they? Okay. Continue, Jessica. Whose jeans are they? Good one, Jessica. Jessica Rivas. Jessica Rivas? Whose jeans are they? 
Thank you. Let's continue. Jensi. Ha, huh, they are mine. Sorry. 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 Very good job. That's nice. Okay, now let's continue. Ha, huh, they are mine. Sorry. Very good they're job. Mine. Sorry. That's correct. Good one. Okay. Now you're going to let's repeat again, right? Let's practice more the conversation. Rene, you're going to start now. Say great. Our clothes are dry. Great. Our clothes are dry. 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 Where is my new blouse? 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 Good one. Catherine yeah, Malaka, yeah, continue. Yeah. What color is it? Catherine? What color is it? What color is it? What color is it? Aha, excellent. Thank you. Continue. Yeah, Luz yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Luz Garcia. It's, it's white. white. It's white. It's white. Thank you. That's good. Let's see, Sandra Marisol. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Blue. Light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. That's correct. Here's the light blue blouse. Thank you. That's good. Joaquin. Here's the light. A light blue, blue blouse. Is it yours? Joaquin, let's repeat it, please. Is it yours? Is it your? Is it yours? Is it your? Yours? Yours? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. No, it's not mine. No, it's not mine. Angelica, repeat it, please. No, it's not mine. No, it's not mine. Wait. No. Wait. It is mine. It is mine. It is mine. It's a disaster. It's it's a disaster. A disaster. A disaster. Thank you. Let's continue. Jessica Franco. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Jessica Franco is not present. Carlos Arturo? Hola, se escucha cortado. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Yes. All, all our clothes are light blue. Thank you. That's good. Jancy Ramos. Here's the problem. Jancy? Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Here is the problem. Is this it's, it's, new blue jeans? Blue jeans. Blue jeans. Blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Those are like. Those are like. Come on. Whose jeans are they? Whose jeans are they? They are they. They. That's good. Thank you. Miguel Antonio, continue. Oh, ah, they're they. mine. Uh, they're in mind. Sorry. Sorry. That's correct. Good one, guys. Okay. So we saw here. Uh, they are mine. And we practice conversation. But tomorrow we continue. Okay. Si se fijan acá, vimos unos posesivos. Mañana vamos a estudiar más acerca de los posesivos. Yes. Do you have questions? Okay. Yes. So tell me the colors that you like. 
Carlos Arturo, tell me again, what's your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is red. It's red, excellent, that's good. What about you? Let's see, Juan Antonio, what's your favorite color? My favorite color favorite? is gray. My it's... favorite, my uh -huh. favorite, it's uh, gray. It's gray, okay. Rene, what about you? What's your favorite color? My the favorite microphone. color, my favorite color is blue. Is blue, excellent. That's all right, guys. Okay, we're going to stop it here, but we're going to continue tomorrow. Okay. 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 Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank Have a beautiful much. night. You. Have sweet dreams. And we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Sleeping. Have a good night, guys. Sleep very well. <laughs> See you tomorrow night, guys. Bye. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Take care. Sweet dreams. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Happy night. Bye. Good night. Thank Bye. you very much. Este... Hola. Hello. Hello. Este una pregunta que a la hora no sé si a la hora que usted pasó lista. La asistencia, este se me cortó la, la clase y ah. no me puse con Ah, ok. Catherine, right? Catherine Rebecca. Sí. Yes, sí, ok. Así es. Ok. Thank you, thank you. Yo la, la incorporo. All right. Sí, es que se me cortó. Okay. Okay. ok, that's good. Yes. Tengo yo una última pregunta, teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. Eh, para cuando nos van a evaluar, para yo que estoy así este, atrasado para la evaluación de las notas, eh, hay que enviar este, la, los ejercicios de tarea que hay, ¿verdad? Que ya están para, tienen ahí lo que es este, la opción enviar, ¿verdad? Sí, exacto. Ajá. Trata de avanzar para que no se vaya a atrasar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Yo ya, ya envié unos cuantos ya. Ah, ok. Ya gracias. eso es lo que me falta. Uno. Very ok, good. gracias. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Have a happy night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Goodbye.